Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys showing you exactly where you could find a new chainsaw weapon in a new sawmill map. So thank you to these people for commenting on my latest video informing me about where exactly to find it. And just in case you haven't seen the video, you haven't seen the comments, and you're wondering where to find a chainsaw, I just wanted to make this video because not everybody will know. But before we get into the video, if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this in the future. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first I want to specify that the chainsaw can only be found on a new sawmill map. You won't be able to find it in the library or the bell tower or the gym. And when you actually equip the chainsaw, you can't carry objectives while you have it. So you're kind of, you're not stationary, but you can't do the objectives with it. Like how you can do objectives with having a shotgun or something like that. So when you start the match on a sawmill map, you can't get the chainsaw right away. You have to wait until you get past the cave to even be able to access it. So first, you have to do the first two objectives to make sure you can access the cave. Once you access the cave, you have to make sure you fully do the crank so then you can go to the next part of the map. So when you are finally finished and you're out the cave, the first thing you want to do is take a sharp right and keep going straight because there'll be some planks and it'll basically be a pathway to where the chainsaw is. So just follow it. Just keep going straight, just keep following it, and you'll eventually get to the area. And once you get there, there will be a ton of spiders. And it can be overwhelming, but my advice on handling a bunch of spiders, and not just in this particular case, but even if you're on another part of the map or any other map, one thing I usually do with spiders that tends to not deal damage to me, when I'm punching them or I'm using my melee weapon, I hold my S key to continuously go backwards while I do it and that causes me to not take any damage but it does damage to them. So after you fought off the spiders you'll just have to go forward just a little bit more and the chainsaw will be right there on top of a crate. You can equip it and then there you have it. And one nice thing about the chainsaw is that you actually have a pretty decent movement speed while carrying it. You're not like going super slow like when you're carrying the blow torches in bell tower you actually have a pretty decent speed so you could keep up with the team and things like that but make sure you be careful when using it don't be like this idiot who dealt zero damage to the killer because they were too excited that they had the chainsaw in their possession the chainsaw kind of works similar to the way the flamethrower works you hold your key down only when you want it to be used it's not like the shotgun where you just click it once and it starts up you hold it for how long you want to use it. And my advice on using a chainsaw is make sure you only use it when you're close to the killer because you have to be very close in order to do a lot of damage. And my other tip for using a chainsaw is to only really use it when you're with your teammates, at least like one or two other people who are helping you do damage or stun them or whatever the case may be. Because if you just kind of solo the killer with it, yes, the chainsaw takes a lot of damage. However, the killer's probably going to do more damage to you before you can fully break their, sh their nightmare shield and kill them. So be careful with that. Just because you have a powerful weapon doesn't mean you're invincible. But that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys how to use the chainsaw and where to find it. Since I got that knowledge to me from some of the people that viewed my latest video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. More videos coming in the future, so stay tuned. And again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.